What's up, my Nancy Poos? What's good? What's good? What's goody? You already know it's your girl, Missy. Welcome back to my channel. You already know I got my boo thing, my sugar plum. Go ahead and tell me who you is, girl. My name is Demira. You can follow her at Beauty the Number Two Smooth on Snapchat. Facebook, Demira, D A apostrophe M I R A, last name Crawford, or Instagram, Beauty the underscore Two Smooth. Oh, I like that, boo. Okay, I'm gonna Beauty Two Smooth. All right. <laughs> period. 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 All right. So as you can tell, I mean by the title, what the video is about. You already know. You know how to avoid being played. Yeah, you know. So we're gonna give y'all ten. So we're gonna give you I'm gonna give you five personal experience and tomorrow's gonna give you five personal experience. Alright? And we're gonna elaborate, you know, we're gonna give you a little tea, you know. But before we give you any teas, you know, you're just not gonna get teas like that. You know, it's way you got it's, it's things to get teas. So let me tell y'all how y'all gonna get the tea. Y'all ready? You ready? Ready? Okay. So, <laughs> you like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe. You got to subscribe. You got to subscribe. Ring the notification bell. That's the only way you gonna know when your girl is here. You know, like I said in my last video, y'all. Like, you know, I was coming with my consistent video, coming with that bangers. You know, and I am. You know, like I said, but y'all can't say nothing to me because what? Y'all just seen. I know y'all just seen the last video. Y'all seen the last video. How you game? Y'all seen it. If you didn't see it. Get over here right quick. No, stop. Finish watching this. Y'all gotta watch this real quick. And then you go and you watch how to game. And if you already watched that, go watch the other videos right quick. So we can just Sangria. That's what the hell it is. Walmart, ABC, any liquor store. Get it. It's yo, like one yo. of the strongest liquors. You hear me? I mean, I'm not even gonna say liquor. I'm sorry. Why? Well, I'm a little snack over here, you know. And so we just wanna get into the video. So, okay. Y'all ready? All right, so we're gonna give her two seconds to subscribe. One, two, and we about to get into the video. So y'all, she tried to give me to go first. D tried to give me to go first. Definitely. I'm, I'm just short. Everybody know y'all have a nickname for everybody. <laughs> she D, my best friend D, she D. Yeah. Um, I'm T, y'all see it. D and T. <laughs> um, yeah, so she wanted me to go first, but we finna do a rock, paper, scissors, shoe. Y'all vote for me. Y'all, I win this. Y'all, I be saying, I if you from the island, y'all know we be saying shoe. <laughs> we say <laughs> shoe. <laughs> okay, you ready? Ready? Mm -hmm. One, two, one, two, three. Rock, paper, scissors, shoe. Ah! I lost. She's on first. Okay, so. <laughs> first red flag or first advice. What? What's so, first thing I'm going to say how to avoid getting played is you shouldn't, myself, I... Or when you see a red flag. Sorry, not to cut uh, you off. Okay. Or when you see a red flag of getting played, I'm going to say not spending that much time with you. Not saying that... You know, it, it's different when a guy is working, but it still should be time made for you. No matter what, it still should be that time. If you guys love each other, it still should be that time because quality time takes a relationship everywhere. And I'm speaking from personal experience. I would take a guy spending time with me than spending money on me. Because at the end of the day, it's more of, you know, do you really love me? Right. You, you ever. So it's like, I feel like if you're not spending quality time, you don't care. You don't care. True. Good one. Like, I'm not going to hold you. Like, that's, that's, that's a real good one. Or not consistently. Like, not consistent quality time. Like, right. I feel like when, you know, like when a guy just kind of like, when you first kind of meet a dude. Right. You know, like, they all want to be up under you. And you know, like, what's what you doing? Right. 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 
And then, you know, after, you know, they didn't get their little, and they didn't get comfortable. Right, right. You know, it's like, you be texting them. Like, right. I feel like, boom, like when they, like when they, like you be texting a person, you be like, uh -huh. But when you first meet me to do, you were like, hey, they text back automatically. Or when you wake up, right. you wake up and you they got that good morning, how you doing text, you know, right. how you doing, baby, and this and that, whatever. Right. But when they get comfortable, when they get right. comfortable, and you be like, you wake up, oh, right. ain't, no, ain't no text. Right. Like, what the fuck? Like, what's going on? Like, when you first started to talk to me, you, you know, be consistent, basically. Like, be consistent, um... When you trying to talk to somebody, and of course, like you know, definitely spend time. You know what I mean? Like keep mm -hmm. up what you did before. Make sure you keep it at the end. Right. As simple as that. Right. So that's a good one. Um, mine's mine's my red flag. I got a whole lot of red flags for me, y'all. So y'all gotta give it some time because I really gotta think about which one I'm gonna give it to. Uh, I'm gonna really like give y'all. But a red flag or how to, how to avoid being played. y'all gonna feel me on this but i'm gonna give you my own personal opinion mm -hmm. right how to avoid getting played everybody know like they personal preference my personal preference is i'm very open right i always tell people that like i just told you that like i'm very open i i'm very open you know what i mean like i believe in like especially in a relationship like if i do something wrong or, or you feel like i'm at fault I'm gonna tell you and you let me know that so I'm gonna do it again. You get what I'm saying? So for me, I feel like when you when you first meet a dude like or whatever and you ask a dude or a girl, either way, you know, like, can I go on your phone? Right. Right? Mm hmm And they be like, Yeah. Or they say no. If if a dude say no, cut it. Period. Like that's my cut opinion. It. If a dude just be like, nah, like, you know, like, and I hate my, I hate that when people be like, oh, excuse me, like, when people be like, um, you gonna go in there and get what you looking for. What do that mean? Like, if I'm gonna get, go on my, in your phone and get what I'm looking for, then it means I should not be with you. Like, that shit's it. That's my opinion. Like, if somebody right. gonna feel like, and that, again, that's your personal preference, but my personal preference is if people are like, oh, you know what, well, I'm not going to go in your phone because you're going to go in there, you're going to get what you, you're going to go, you're going to go in there and get what you're looking for. Right. I don't need that. That means, that means obviously you're not being faithful. Right. But I feel like how to avoid it is when you, let's say a dude say, okay, yeah, you know what, like, y'all on the same common understanding, y'all people can go in each other's phone, right? Mm -hmm. And the minute you feel like, you know what, well, I'm just going to go. You know, let's say you could be playing with the person just to like kind of test them out. Or you could be for real because you feel like something going on. And the minute you pick that phone up and they be like, or they make a big deal, why you on my phone? Right. You know what I mean? Right. Right. Leave. Cut it. When that sounds like, cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. <laughs> cut that shit. It's no point of being too good. Like, what's the point? Like, if I can't go on your phone and be like, okay. I'm gonna pick this bitch up and be like, you know, be good. I don't convince what to be. Like me, I'm time again, I'm very much open. Okay. So if a dude do that bit and be like, you know, let me check that shit. I like that. I'm not gonna hold y'all. Oh, you jelly. <laughs> oh, you jelly. Go check it, you know? And I'm and I'm such a playful type of girl. I'd be like, ooh, yeah, you better check that phone. I got like two niggas in that bitch. Cause I don't know how to have nobody in this right, shit. You know what right, I mean? Like, right. I like that type of stuff. And then y'all don't know, like, again, I like that. I'm freaky. You know what I mean? So they be like, when they get in the phone, they don't see nothing. They be like, mm, you want to play? Right. Play. <laughs> you know, I like that. But when I feel like when it goes any way, y'all, I'm sorry, I got my little mini fan on me because I had to cut my big fan off in my ear because I need something. So y'all just gonna get this hair going like crazy right now because I'm not cutting nothing off unless until oh, I'm not gonna cut the air on. I'm gonna cut the air on y'all. Okay, so yeah, like if if it don't go the way I just said, and it goes right. all the way left, mm -hmm. it's time to go. Right. It's time to go. Right. So that's one, two. So the next, I'm going to touch bases on, and it is strong in today's society, very much, especially for our age group. It is definitely. All caps strong. Another thing to avoid is, and I'm guilty of this, 
but I'm not guilty, if that makes sense. It's the best friend, opposite best friend. And the reason why I say that, I'll be a society, the only reason why I say that, because it does cause confusion in a relationship. It very much causes confusion. Not saying that it's something wrong with having the opposite sex of friends, but you got to know your limit and your boundaries oh. when it comes to that. So, it's no way you should be like, oh, babe, I'll be home. I'm hanging with this, you know, my, my opposite sex of friends at 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning. Excuse me? Y'all can get me the fuck up. Yep. I mean, and I have, I never hung with, out with my guy best friend late, but it's all about respect when you're in a relationship. If you can't respect my relationship, I don't care how long we've been friends, you know, you still got to respect, you know, my, uh, my significant other at the end of the day. So, I mean, just like if you would want me to respect you, and I'm talking on the guys too, like, you know, respect your lady, like, you know, if you know that you have an old lady at home, just please respect her when it comes down to the best friend relationship, because even you guys shouldn't always be around each other 24-7, because 9 times out of 10, 90% of the time, if a guy says he have a girl best friend, he didn't tap that. Sure he is. <laughs> About 60, 65% of the time, a female says that she has a girl best friend, <laughs> she didn't let him tap that. Okay, I'm not gonna hold you. I'm not, I'm not gonna hold you. And I'll probably say, you say 60, 65. I say 60, 60 65. I say like. 30. 80. 80? <laughs> what? At least I didn't try to give us some relief. I, right? I am trying to give y'all. Like, look, she was trying to. She was. She got y'all Y'all know. Y'all, okay, now y'all already know. Nisi Poos, I got y'all, right? But y'all know. Y'all be for those, y'all. But I'm going to make it clear. The reason why I say 60 to 65% is because guys can lead a female on faster than a male can lead a female. Because if a if all right, a, okay, I'm sorry. Like if a female has a male at home, nine times out of ten, she's gonna be thinking about that, unless she's just out there just you know hoeing. But if a male, if a female turn him on, drop them draws. Okay, <laughs> drop them. <laughs> you I'm, know, I'm gonna play devil's advocate. That was. I'm gonna play devil's advocate. Okay. Okay. Because usually. When we have friends, we already know. <laughs> what we mean? already know. <laughs> we already know this nigga like us. Like we already know. Okay, that is he true. like us. You know this supposed to get us our food. <laughs> you like we already know what they said that in our life. You know what I mean? Like I'm not gonna hold you. So that's why I said eighty. You know what I mean? Like no right. wrong. But at the same point of time, I do feel like when it comes down to our Control limit. Right. See, that's what I was trying to get yeah. to. Okay, so definitely what Nisa Poo said. When it comes down to control myth, a female will control herself faster than a guy will. Mm -hmm. Cause and I'm not holding us females up and right, because if a nigga throwing this and throwing that or bond is this and bond is that, we be quick. I'm telling you, we be quick to, and that's why I try to talk to my young girls that's under me and let them know, you know, find love within yourself. You don't have to look for love on the outside, baby. True. Start with yourself. And, you know, from there, everything else should follow. It starts with self-love. Self all love. caps. Period. So, that's All cap, but no cap. Right. Period. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. I like that one. I like that one. Uh, oh, that was a good little one right there. Yeah, that was. Um, I don't know, y'all. Me might just turn this in because the way we've been drinking and talking, I don't know. This might not be 10. There might be a little less than right. 10. That, but we're going to give you what we get y'all out of here. Right. Um, so, mine would be, 
I don't even know what it was, but I got another one. <laughs> she, see, you see how this work? You see, this is why I've been single, y'all, because listen, honey, I done been too much. Too much. <laughs> okay, how to avoid, how to avoid getting played or red flag. Listen, baby, let me tell y'all. We a little older. You know, we not older, like we ain't in our thirties yet, and you know, shout out to the thirties. Mm -hmm. oh, so I got all my best friends, you know, in their thirties. You know, we old. We old. <laughs> <laughs> she, she got, she got way all the best friends. You know, shout out to the fifty plus, forty, sixty, all that. You know, Girl, for me, like, we late, we are late for our twenties. You know, um, yes. But listen, to the ones that's younger than, than us, and to the ones that's older, you know, that is in that shoe right now. Let me tell y'all. Because I'm experienced. And I tell people all the time, honey, you know, you just have to learn from that experience, that from that mistake, and know that it's not a mistake again. Because mm -hmm. when you learn from that mistake again, you're not going to do it again. Can I get an amen? Amen. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. So, what that means? <laughs> Say, preach it. <laughs> what that means? Say, when you meet a dude mm -hmm. and you dating them, mm -hmm. and you be like, you got a baby? And they be like, yeah, okay, cool. How old is he? Or is she? Twice. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Two months. Yeah. Three months. Listen, I'm not for all y'all. Now that I'm older, honey, a year, two years. For me, I cannot. Because I just feel like y'all not over, y'all got a whole baby, right? Right. Y'all got a whole baby. This is a whole different life for y'all. Like y'all got, y'all got to learn how to take this baby to the appointments. You know, like you know, figure out like what's funny about him. Like where he do he got dimples? Who their eyes look like? Mm -hmm. You know, uh, who the baby got the. Bert mark on the, the ass cheek like the daddy do. Y'all gotta figure all these shit out together. You get what right, I'm saying? Right, God true, forbid the true. baby sick. And really, God forbid the child sick. Y'all got appointments so y'all have to go to together. And the man I date, they be good men. So y'all better take it. Y'all got the child, Piriana. So y'all gonna have to do all this shit together. Right. You know what I mean? Right. And for me, and because I know that we're women and we are emotional. Right. And anytime that man come over, unless you're not a strong man, and I don't give a damn. If you a strong man or not, I don't want, I don't want, to, I don't want no man that got no young ass. Ah! Right. Okay? It is hard to just sit there and say, okay, well, yeah, I'm just fucking with her. You know, I'm just dealing with the baby. Mm -hmm. I don't believe that. Mm -hmm. I don't believe that. Right. I don't believe that you just there fucking with the baby. I don't. Right. I just cannot. I just can't believe it. Right. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. The child is two months. Right. You get what I'm saying? Right. Definitely true. Like, when you hear that, I'm sorry. Like, when y'all hear stuff like that, leave. You right. know, he could be a nice dude. He could be cool. He could be going on going to school. Right. But he for nine times, nine times out of ten, he gonna turn back and take that curve to baby mama. My baby mama said that sure. she mad and she stressed out. She ain't got that money, the bills to pay, yeah. and this and that, and yeah. she need to talk, and they just mm -hmm. need to come over for a minute. Right. Leave it. Right. Cut it. Cut it. He can be, I don't give a damn how cute he look like. I don't care how cute he look like. Right. He can look like Michael Jordan. The girl, he looks Michael Jordan. Bald. <laughs> you know what? You know what? Not the ball player. Oh. Fuck walk. Girl, not that bad. Oh, I thought you were talking uh -huh. about that. Oh, you talking about walk. 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 Walk.
over. You got to. Here, pull. You got Don't play me. That was a good one right there. You got to. But she just said it. That's what she, I did. She did. But she did. She said what she said. That's okay. When I who, watch the video, who finna check up? Who finna check up? Nobody. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> yeah. This is gonna be so funny because we really been drinking. Yes. I definitely know. Hold on. It's coming back. Cause after I had touched bases on that one. Yeah. yeah. That that was struck nerve. That's that that hit it. That one struck nerve. And I don't even know what the hell I was gonna say. You wanna go? Oh, I'm gonna go. You can go. Okay. Like, Pass my to go card. <laughs> okay. She go. She. She got. She go. She'll be back. Yes. Cause I'm trying to keep it. Ooh. I don't even. Y'all, it be coming so easy for me. Touch base on this. Let me tell y'all. Oh. You found it. You got it. I got it. Okay. Fuck you it. got it. Go ahead. Let's go. So, the next thing I want to touch on. Is a man's slash a woman's age. It don't matter what age you are. Don't let that fool you. Because I thought the same thing. I was like, oh, he older. He got experience. Oh, he's younger. So he's, you know, I'm used to talking to younger guys. I mean, that's just like my age or maybe one or two years younger than me. No more than that. But... Age does play a huge role, but some guys are not mature for their age. Even females. That sounds like that struck a nerve. <laughs> but I must say that it's all about the vibes. Positive vibes only. All caps. So with that being said. What I'm trying to get to is, don't always look at the age, cause like you're older, I just messed up. But yeah, but you get what I'm saying. Well, <laughs> oh, wouldn't that be a red flag? It is, cause age, like you might say, as far as like. That's a good one though. Yeah, it is, it is, cause you know what I'm saying. Some people might be like, oh, I'm not gonna say that. That that hit a nerve with me, so I'm gonna leave it in. <laughs> um. No, red flag is, red, like what she said is basically, you meet a man and because you think, oh yeah, you know, he older, he mm -hmm. got all the sense in the world, you know, he's mature, he got it together because he lived his life right. and he got it all out, he got it all out of his system, bitch, don't be fooled, don't be fooled, age has nothing to do with it, check the vibes. Check and actually see what they about. Read them. Check Listen it. to them. Check Analyze it. what they're actually saying and watch their actions. Right. Period. Big thing right. is actions. We're gonna put it right across here right quick. Right. Actions. Oh, okay. Period. Period. And that <laughs> is a good one. What? So when you want your nails done, I'm not saying, oh, you know, he can't pay for it, but that's something you want done. And nine times out of ten, if a male wants his old lady to look nice, he's gonna pay for it anyways, no problem. But you can't get mad at him if he don't want to pay for it because that's a especially that's a new problem. Yes, especially if he got goals, baby. Look, I ain't looking for a man to pay for nothing but these goals. You know, we are gonna come up on this together, yeah. honey. So like all the nails, the hair, and all that, ladies, stop it. You make your own money. You out grinding. So you do it for yourself and show him if you leave me, <laughs> baby, that all this extra stuff that I do, I do it for me because for I want it to be. You me. are a bonus. Right. So you are because I want you. Right. I could be, you know, it, it might sound harsh, but I want you. I don't need you. Right. It's you know, a lot of women have to have that men should have the mentality too. Like right. I want you and I want you bad, daddy. Right. I don't need you. You know what I mean? Like I'm that's what it is. And so far as red flag go, that's right. what I'm, red flag for men. Mm -hmm. When you have a woman or when you meet a woman and you and uh, like you know they keep fucking with you when you need to. Oh, let me get my head done. 
oh, can you get my nails done? Oh, this and that, whatever. Mm -hmm. They not really fucking with you. No. And I'm gonna keep it a stack. Y'all ready? Go ahead and give it to them. I used to do that. So she's telling you from experience. I'm giving you true tea, like. She's telling you. Yes, like. No say no tea, but right. I used to do them two dudes, but I wasn't really feeling them. You know what I mean? Right. And I just felt like, you know, shit. Like, listen. Like, I'm not really feeling this little but if you want to be fucking with me, listen. I need my hair done. I need my nails done. I need my hair. You know, I need this, that, that. You know right. what I mean? But at the same point of time, I didn't need you to do it. But I wasn't really fucking with you. You have people that have them and that go for dudes because they actually need them to get their shit done. Right. You know what I mean? Like, no, bitch, boss up. And I'm not finna hold you. Matter of fact, pause. Let's be clear. I'm gonna be on the rear be on snap with you. Shit. It was time I ain't had it. Like, I didn't have to go get my nails done. You know, I wanted to be on some, you know, watch my other little friends, quote unquote, did, or, you know, kept up with the motherfucking Joneses, and, you know, wasn't on my own shit. So I used to ask a nigga to do some shit for me. You know what I mean? And y'all bitch gotta understand, too, when y'all ask a motherfucker to do something for you, and anybody, men, mm -hmm. family members, of who strangers you have to prepare for that rap right right so if you ask a dude to continuously get your nails done buy you hair pay your rent you better get your, pay your order, behind that. that too but when a nigga get off and he go off on your ass and be like oh you like sh and you know you whoop the whoop the whoop yeah. and all that you. And yep yep first thing so how can you be mad you can't but what I've learned, and that's what, like this, like, that's again what I've learned is, is honestly, I swear to y'all, like y'all, after even being getting like getting on my shit, being on my shit, now I got dudes that I used to fuck with, and dudes that I used to be like, tell them they'll do shit for me. Now I'm trying to tell them like, listen, I don't have time. Like you know, I'm really busy. Like mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you know, right. now I'm a whole different girl. Right. You know what I mean? Because now I'm on my boy shit. Right. You know what I mean? Right. So. And I promise you, it feels so good. Like, before I'm out and we're done, we're literally right on 30 minutes. So, um, my one would be, my last one would be. I did my three. No, I did four. <laughs> so, she did four. I did five. Did five. It was supposed to be doing five, but. But I we mean, topped it. Yeah. Yep, yeah, we did it. But, you're you for me. Y'all ready? You ready? I'm ready.